the Canadian Card Collector here, and welcome back to day 188 of a daily deck review. And the deck that we're taking a look at today is the third of the third edition of the Bicycle Johnny Cupcakes playing cards. So, no further ado, take a look, see what we get. Here we have the Bicycle Johnny Cupcakes playing cards here in the standard glossy finish tuck box. This is the third edition, so it says Bicycle Johnny Cupcakes playing cards there in the white font. Then you got the Johnny Cupcake kind of like little character there, like the little mascot there, right there in the middle, with the cupcake and the Johnny Cupcakes logo on its shirt. And it says third edition deck. And then it says classic classic rider back, so it has the standard classic bicycle rider back back design. On the side it says the United States Playing Card Company. Other side says Johnny Cupcakes, made in the USA. The bottom has some um, corporate information like manufactured by the United States Playing Card Company. Made in the USA, recycling logo. On the back, you got a sneak peek of that back design. For the seal, you've got the standard white. And you've still got the standard black, United States Plank Card Company black seal with the white outline spade and the white board around that. On the top, I think it just says playing cards underneath the seal there. And then for the colors of the tuck box, you got the kind of base for the white like around the edges, but then the rest of the colors is a teal. A teal green with a black accent. The inner tuck flap has, just has some corporate information. Nothing on the inner tuck flaps. Take the cards out of the box. Inside the tuck box is just plain white. Nothing too crazy going on inside there. Now that we took a look at the tuck box, time to take a look at the cards. First we'll start with the back design. Here we have a standard bicycle rider back back design there. So that mirrored back design with the standard white border going around. And it is in that black and like tealish kind of green colorway there. So I'll just call it a green colorway. So it's a black and green colorway. And we all know that classic bicycle back design there. Mirrored back design. So you can flip the design over. And it's the same design in both directions. Now for the cards you get with the deck. First we get two identical jokers. Where they both say JC, JC there in the corner. Like a little JC. With Johnny Cupcakes, then it says Joker, Joker down the side. Then you got the Joker there riding the bicycle. And then you got the little Johnny Cupcakes logo there on a little plate. And you kind of got some green and like, got the green, the black, and a little bit of like a coral orange color there. Then you got a double backer of the back design. And you got that blank face. Then I want to the not so custom, but still custom Ace of Spades. Here we got the big spade there in the middle. And you can see it's kind of like a half and half design. We got the half like solid black and then the half like with like the teal, with the green teal colorway. And then you got the custom fonts for the numbers and letters. There. And then you got the Johnny Cupcake logo there and that teal with a kind of like half circle. It was like the little dotted pattern in the a teal kind of, no, I guess the coral orange color stripe there. And this design is on every card there. And then you're going to get like that. The black. Oh, you get the letters there with a the kind of little accent of the teal there. And the rest of the spades are pretty much the same. So it's kind of like a big face font there. So all the cards are pretty much the same. And you get to the custom Quick cards, Jack, Queen, and King of Spades, and they're fully custom. You might notice one thing. For these cards, like for those standard, just like the regular like number cards, you got like the black and teal for the spade, but then on the jokers, it swaps it up, and you got the, the black and like orangey kind of colorway there. But you still got the same little like green accent for the letters there. Then you got the fully custom court cards there, with the Johnny Cupcake logo in the middle, and then the all the court cards have some kind of little, like, baking kind of, like, item in their hands. So the jack has a little cupcake with some sprinkles. The queen has a little spatula with some, like, icing on it. And then the king has a spoon with some icing on it. We get to the diamonds here. And they're pretty much the same. Like, all the cards are pretty much the same. Just they have their kind of suits on them. So this one is the diamonds. What's the half solid black and the half or green there. And that goes throughout the rest of the diamonds there. So pretty much a similar design. Then you get the court card, Jack, Queen, and King. 
of diamonds. And I forgot to mention the colorway for the court cards. It's the green and orange colorway. And they have more baking utensils, like items in their hands. So the jack has a recipe in its hand, or the recipe book. The queen has a cupcake, and the king has a whisk. And then pretty much the same design for the court cards for the clubs here. And they have that black and orange, like half and half clubs there on them. And then they have the king has a fork, giant fork. The queen has some icing on her finger, and the ja the yeah the jack has a little arrow with a cupcake in it, or a cupcake with an arrow through it. And then we got the rest of the clubs here, which is the half and half, half black, half green. Once again, same design. And then the custom hearts here, jack, queen, and king of hearts, same half and half design with the orange and the black. And then you got the king there with the sword through its head. Then you got the queen there with them cherries. And then you got the jack there with some icing. And the rest of the hearts are pretty much the same as others. The rest of the deck. Well, now that we took a look at the cards, come to test the handling. First, we'll start with the springs. And well, I gotta say, right off that first spring, it wasn't even a good spring. But these cards are extra, like, bendy, like, they're definitely a crushed stock. Because they're nice and bendy, and they're definitely going to be slippery. A nice, super, like, bendy deck of cards. Well, they're definitely, like, some kind of, like, thin crushed stock or something. But they're nice and smooth. They're nice smoothness to it, but they're definitely slippery. These are still, like, Pretty new deck, so but they're extra slippery. They're pretty smooth, and there's no like stiffness to them at all. They're like super bendy, and they're definitely slidey. So I'm just gonna stop doing the springs now, so I don't like fling them all over the place. But they're not bad springs, nice and bendy and smooth. Now for the fans. We got some nice fans there. They spread pretty evenly there. It's just the way the numbers are set up. So it's, you can't really see them. You got more like a white border on the front of the cards, so it's kind of harder to see the face cards. And yep, these cards are definitely gonna be slippery. So they might. So I'll, I'll try my best to not drop them as much. Oh, well, well, what I was getting at was the fans. That they're nice and like they fan pretty nice. There. Yeah. It's just the way that the numbers were. It's hard to see them when you fan them. We can get a decent fan. Nothing like super amazing or anything. But still a pretty decent fan there. And they spread pretty good. There's no stickiness or clumpiness to them. What I feel. Now for the pharaoh. You got a pretty smooth pharaoh there. And the interlocking we have flaws through there. Now for a giant fan of the back design. Now for that reverse pharaoh. And the reverse pharaoh wasn't as smooth. I had to just like push them and slide them together. And they didn't really interlock and weave super flawlessly there. Because you can see a little gap there. But for the now, time for the giant fan of the faces. Now, time for the riffle shuffle or bridge shuffle.
Well, I guess the only way I can get a good ripple shuffle, because I couldn't get really many good riffles there. But if I go, like, slow, if I do, like, a slow one, even though a slow one doesn't work half the time. Well, like, that one I can get them. I can only get one out of, like, out of one out of every three riffles. I can get a good riffle shuffle or bridge shuffler. So they can kind of riffle, but not, like, entirely. Well, at least for me, I couldn't really get a good riffle out of them. But now let's move on to the packet cuts. Well, for as slidey as the cards are, like slippery and like slidey they are, I didn't really feel like they wanted to slide out of my hands too much when doing the packet cuts. The only time they really wanted to slide out of my hand when I was doing this, the worm here. So the packet cuts feel nice, pretty good there. I didn't really feel like they were going to slide in my hands at all. That's a bonus for the packet cuts. Now for the one-handed cut, or surely a cut. Now time for the dribble. Well, you got the pretty smooth dribbles there. Both forwards and back are nice and smooth. No issues with the dribbles. Now for that spread fan. And lastly, spread the cards on the table. Well, I gotta say, it's a pretty unique custom bicycle deck. I gotta give it that. Well, it's one thing I gotta say. The back design is pretty cool. It's like the classic bicycle rider back design in that green and black colorway. It's a unique colorway for the back design, which I would like to see. Unique colorways of the rider backs there. And only one thing I have about the face, like the design of the cards. Because when I set up to do these deck reviews, I like some of the decks are like out of order, so I put them back in order. And it was almost kind of hard to, like, tell what cards were what when I was putting them, when I was putting them back in order. Because they almost kind of look the same. Because they all have, like, these, like, the big, like, Johnny Cupcake logos in the corners. And they kind of have, like, the half and half design. So they almost all kind of blended together. It was a little bit confusing for the faces. It's the only little design flaw that I have with it. But they all have all cards kind of look the same. But other than that, it's a unique design. And I kind of like the style and color of it. And then for the handling, the packet cuts hand, hand, handle fantastic. So most of the handling is okay. It's not like the best handling like bicycle deck that I've handled before. But they are still pretty new. So if I break them in a little bit. And they might feel a little bit better. And they're definitely slippery cards. So we'll definitely have to break them in a little bit. To get them a little bit less slippery. Because they de will definitely fly to your hands. So most of the handling is 
okay, but some of it's not as good. Like the riffles, I, I cannot get the riffles to work that good with this deck. Like, I can get a few, but like, not all of them. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed. This has been day 188 of your daily deck review. This has been the third edition of the Bicycle Johnny Cupcake Playing Cards. And I'm the Canadian Card Collector, signing out. That's the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.